a lot of times people are intimidated with zero. The first thing I say to do is go ahead and join everything because it doesn't matter. You have to start somewhere. So start with zero. And for my Twitter account, I started that and zero. Um, I started blogging with no followers. I joined Facebook. I joined Google Plus. I joined all the online groups that I can find that were talking about what I was talking about. And in those groups, I might uh, start like a subsection of my topic, which was cell phones for learning. So once you are a member of all these groups, then you can start to use your voice. Now, many bloggers will tell you when they start the first year, they're blogging to no one. But that's okay because you're writing about what you care about. You're writing about what you're passionate about. It makes you more searchable in Google, ultimately, even though people aren't initially following you. And then I use my blog and Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus kind of in tandem. So with Twitter, even if you have no followers, you need to learn hashtags. Once you learn a hashtag, you will find people who are passionate about what you're passionate about, even if they're not following you. So by simply tweeting with the right hashtag, like in the case of cell phones for learning, the tags that we use are mLearning for mobile learning, um, EdChat for education chat, and EdTech. So those are some uh, common tags that I use. So whatever your topic is, you need to do a little research, find out the hashtags people are using in Twitter and start using those tags. Then you're instantly gonna start getting followers. Once you get those followers, those are the people who are going to become a part of your community. And I recommend that you start writing to them, see what they're writing, respond, reply, and you're going to start developing this amazing community. Then the next thing I did, which I think it's one of my favorite things to do in writing my blog and my book, is I would pick a particular area of my topic that I wanted to write more about. Like something that was near to my heart was breaking the ban. So I sent out a tweet using the correct hashtags and also tagging some people I knew interested. And you just tag by using the at symbol and the person's Twitter name and the hashtag you just put a pound sign in front. So with a couple tags um, and some hashtags, I could tweet something like, who has broken the ban, the cell phone ban where they work, and use the correct hashtags like mLearning, EdChat, and EdTech, and then a couple people I know who are doing that. If you have, share your ideas at, and then I create a Google Doc that everyone can contribute to. So in my book, one whole chapter is written collaboratively with a global network of teachers around the world who have broken the cell phone ban where they work, and that became an article on my blog, an article in a couple magazines, and a chapter in my book. So those are just some ideas is get in the game, um, start learning the language of the social media, and ask those people to collaborate with you. And then soon you'll become known as the person to go to when people want to know about this, and your network will become larger and larger. And Use those uh, tags that are important to you often because that's what gets you to come up in the Google search terms. So those are some <laughs> tips that I have for authors who are interested in that.